today, the 1st of July, the four commissioners across Scotland, Northern Ireland, uh, England and Wales will be submitting our report to the UN Committee on the Rights of the Child. The report will outline how we think the UK Government has performed against the 42 obligations it has under the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. The report will be concentrating on a range of issues and will be looking at every aspect of children's lives and that will include child poverty, housing, mental health, education, experiences of children with disability and a broad range of issues. One of the things all four commissioners are concerned about is the impact of less government money and the impact that of that spending will have on its children and young people. We are not confident that government have properly been able to assess how that's going to affect our most vulnerable young people and indeed if we continue the way we're going it's likely to have a very very detrimental effect on their, on their lives. Another issue of concern is child poverty. We again for the same reasons with cuts in welfare and cuts in government expenditure and services to children and young people we are very, very concerned, and the evidence is bearing this out, that we will have more children in poverty and not less as we should be having. Here in Northern Ireland, I am particularly concerned about how we, our children are doing with regards to their mental health and well-being. Too many children here are hurting themselves and sometimes others because of unresolved trauma um, and issues in their lives, and we really must begin to address it. In education will be an area that we expect the UN Committee on the Rights of the Child to be concerned about here in Northern Ireland. In 2008 they recommended that Northern Ireland make um, efforts to reduce the level of segregation and also to uh, eradicate uh, and get rid of basically um, academic selection at age 11. We know that insufficient progress has been made in those two areas and we look forward to seeing what the UN Committee will say to our government about this. In 1990, our government signed the United Nations Convention for the Rights of the Child, which made 42 promises to protect the rights of children and young people within Northern Ireland. Now, over a quarter of a century on, I believe that these promises should be put into law to further protect children and young people's rights within Northern Ireland. Not enough people get enough services for mental health issues. The government has made a promise, so they should, they should stick to it. In a recent Northern Ireland statistic, it showed that 22% of children in Northern Ireland are living in relative poverty. We hope that because the UK, the UK signed the UN Convention in 1990, we hope that they promise to keep their promise of protecting children in poverty. Mm -hmm.